Alright, 55 minutes. I am not surviving this. I'll just be straight up. Um, yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. If I don't make it, then it was a good run. Um, was it? I don't even know at this point, but, uh, yeah. Anyways, um, yeah, Grand Finals versus Andrew the Rough. This is it. Don't know how I got here. I'll, like, I'll be completely honest. I do not know how I got here, dude. Um, craziest luck streak of all time probably pure skill absolutely not it was a mix of just i guess luck and maybe some decent fights that i did but yeah we're here in the grand finals um andrew the rough he whitelisted sasquatch and i picked photon i'm allowed to do a science character but i can't do like you know juggernaut still so yeah um that was my game plan just use photon for like maybe sasquatch right and andrew the rough is a pretty like admirable person did I say that right? Admirable, there we go. Yeah, he's he's that, right? Because, you know, I think he's a good example of like what top players should strive to be. Because, you know, he's a really good personality. He is um, you know, he's ripped, so that's that's always something to like look up to, right? So like he's a pretty awesome guy. And, you know, he's not like when you think of like a top player, you don't think of someone who's like ripped, has a girlfriend and like is a pretty good personality you think the opposite so yeah i'm glad that he's like at the top just kind of you know changing the i guess changing the like viewpoint the perspective of other like players when they think of a top player so yeah pretty cool dude wish him nothing but the best and it was time to do this thing i've made it this far may as well just try my best see what happens right because you know this was already a fluke in the first place but hey maybe this whole tournament's a fluke if i win it all i don't know we'll have to see but um yeah there's maestro right there and i had zero maestro counters in my deck or like not in my deck but like in my draft at least so that's already a great start and yeah he goes for dragon man here pretty uh pretty standard pick because of my hulkling for example and i just did not get a single maestro counter i am not using a rank 4 kindred versus a rank 3 maestro are you insane we're not doing that mm -mm, no chance all right but um time for the first round um did not look super good for me at first you know i don't have like any counters to maestro and kind of like photon as well and maybe even sasquatch so this one did not feel too good going into it so i was gonna place um onslaught but then i was like wait a second i can maybe use onslaught for like maestro so he's gonna maul the serpent and i'm gonna use onslaught here and hey i'll be honest um Onslaught kind of cooks Maestro, but it, it does come at a cost because he does take a buttload of damage, to be fair. But, you know, this was the first match. I was just getting warmed up here. Like, I I think I played, like, one matchup before this Grand Final, so that is, um, yeah, that's not good. That's not a good sign because I just didn't prepare that much. And, you know, Andrew wasn't really prepared either because he was, um, he, like, he could have done friendlies probably, but like he was kind of focused on getting top one in like, you know, the actual battleground season. So yeah, fair play to him, which I think he did end up doing. So yeah, that's pretty sweet. Uh, I, I was like kind of, um, I was like kind of spectating the entire thing. <laughs> it was, it was wild. Like you thought one person was going to have it, but then no, this other person has it. And it's like, oh, okay, this is just crazy stuff. But yeah, here I dropped the SP2. And this is why Onslaught is so good for Maestro because once the DGEN's up, you just have it on like forever and yeah the d gen ticks big time versus maestro and you're kind of just chilling after this because every sp1 that you drop just does some insane damage so you're kind of chilling there i got my parry failed and that kind of cost me the entire thing so that's that's a uh, that's kind of cool but yeah drop the sp1 does some pretty good damage and the fight is over now yeah I beat him on time but barely lost health wise and i feel like if i didn't miss that parry i would have gotten the w so it is what it is um but not the best start already 
But I have a trick up my sleeve. I have Mephisto because he doesn't have a single Mephisto counter. And yeah, uh, Mephisto was kind of like my trap card, I guess, because uh, in a science like blacklisted meta, uh, yeah, Mephisto is going to pop off, man. He's going to be really, really good. So there I place Mephisto. He places Domino. And I'm going to use Photon for this Domino. I could have maybe used Sunspot here and then use uh, Photon for Sasquatch, but I just thought that, you know what, maybe Sunspot can burst down Sasquatch, and he can, but something happens in that matchup, but we'll get to that later. So here he's gonna go for Black Cat versus uh, Mephisto here, and this is just like a throw round for him, so uh, yeah, not the biggest issue. And Photon versus Domino, it's a good matchup because I think Photon has like pretty high base energy res, so like the critical failure damage, which is energy damage by the way, kind of gets gimped a bit, so yeah, uh, Photon's just amazing, right? And when I was thinking of the blacklist, or like the whitelist, sorry, I was like, okay, Photon is gonna come in clutch, right? Because she can take Sasquatch, who is his whitelist character, she can take Domino, she can take Bullseye even, she can take Onslaught, she just kind of takes everything, and if his draft doesn't go right, she's a great defender as well. So it's like, okay, Photon is going to be a massive, massive game changer here, and you know what? She absolutely was. And I didn't whitelist man Gog like I said I was going to, but, you know... I think it had to happen. I think Photon was the better call given the situation that I was in, right? Because, you know, Mangog's a great defender. He's really hard to, like, take down at rank 3 if in, like, if the science class is, like, you know, blacklisted, right? But, um, yeah, I think Photon was the correct play. And, you know, looking back on it, I don't think I would change a single thing, but we're chilling. And yeah, Mephisto is a fiend right now, man. Like, look at this guy go. The fight's still going on for him. He is just... He's just doing Mephisto things, I guess. And the fight's gonna end, and he's gonna, like, survive, which is kind of wild. Yeah, he didn't even go down halfway. Uh, so... Mephisto plus Footloose plus the power gain plus the incinerate damage, you know, I think it does stack up and it does, you know, make him very, very annoying. So, yeah, props to Mephisto. What a beast. Super, super cool character. And when, like, science characters aren't as relevant for some reason in a meta, Mephisto's gonna be right there to just be like, yeah, no sir, you are gonna get destroyed. <laughs> so yeah, kind of a beast. And there is rank 3 sassy. There is my reaction to that rank 3 sassy. <laughs> and so I, I think I could have I could have maybe won this, to be honest. I it's hard to tell. It it's really hard to tell because like what happens in this fight. It, it's like so hard to determine like what could have happened if it went right, you know, but well, you'll just see what happens here um, Yeah, sassy is just failing everything right now, which is just fantastic and I'm taking like too much damage already So that's like not a good sign, but uh, yeah here. He drops the SP one again He needs to stop doing that because it's such a massive time stall, but he just wants to keep throwing it So like it's fine, right and like you know, it's it's going okay so far. I have my, what, fourth flare state, which is pretty decent. And here I'm going to get my... No, I don't get my fifth. That's where I, that's where I made a mistake. I should have got my fifth flare state, 100%. That was important. That was, like, really, really important to do. But I didn't do that. So uh, there's mistake number one. Mistake number two is one that I don't even think is my fault, to be honest. Because that just whiffs completely. Yeah, like, what What can I do about that? What can I do about a whiff, you know? Uh, but the biggest mistake was that flare state. Just not getting that fifth flare state. But that's good to know for next time, right? The next time I fight a rank 3 sassy with a rank 2 sunspot, hey, maybe after a spring cleaning, if that does happen this year, which, you know, it gives Kabam money, so it probably, <laughs> probably will happen, I might rank 3 sunspot because he's an absolute beast. Maybe, right? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, this was my fault, not Sunspot's fault, and it's a rank 3 Sasquatch, so like, give him some leeway, please. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, here I was just gonna time out, I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna, not gonna do anything, just gonna 
keep getting like blocked or like keep taking blocked hits it's fine but then yeah i go in here uh drop the sp2 one more time and it does some pretty bad damage and that doesn't even connect so yeah there we go first first round was a loss and you know um throughout this whole tournament there has only been one match where i won the first round and it was against liam in the semifinals only one that's the only person that i've beat in the first round <laughs> every other matchup in this tournament i've had to come back from behind and that that's like fine i guess like i know i know like how this works it's not my first rodeo like you know being down 0-1 however if i go down 0-2 that's a different story because that's a different rodeo that i haven't get experienced right so let's see what happens here and we're only 10 minutes in <laughs> we still got 45 minutes of my voice which you know maybe is annoying maybe isn't annoying i don't know but you're gonna have to stick with it for a bit longer here because yeah this is a, this is a long video okay and you know i want to start doing long videos because i think they are pretty cool but um this is just training i guess right just training for that so first things first is he gets the serpent which is already like a massive l for me because it's the serpent right um and here i have like mephisto again which is pretty huge and i also have sasquatch so that's also like a nice pick for sure so i mean not oh i don't i don't pick him you know i should have picked sasquatch because it's sasquatch right uh i just got folded by him but then again i faced a rank 3 sasquatch and mine is a rank 2 undupe so it's a pretty big difference in like you know power right and honestly man sasquatch is like a cheat code like when andrew whitelisted sassy i was like okay this man is like yeah that that's that's really smart to do like, like that's a really smart pick so i was like okay i have to try to counter this sasquatch and you know i'll be honest i kind of do counter him eventually with a champion that i kind of hate so yeah, it's crazy how that works sometimes, right? Like you use a like you use a champion that you just don't like, and then it they end up being really dang good. It's it's interesting, but um yeah, there I have like I have like no one for serpent to be honest, and this is when I realized yeah I can't keep serpent in play because he's not benefiting me enough, and he's gonna benefit Andrew so much more and like i forgot who i was banning <laughs> like i seriously forgot like who i was banning at this point so it's like um yeah i don't think i need to like i think i can afford to ban um the serpent because as it stands right now i just need to ban cgr and tigra that's it that's all i have to ban because um those two characters are my biggest weaknesses when it comes to like trying to go up against them so yeah, I was kind of chilling, but I just didn't realize that, hey, the Serpent is the actual problem here until after this matchup. Because, uh, yeah, Werewolf by Night is good for Serpent. The issue is, he wants to be ascended for it, right? Because if you're punching up against the Serpent, it's a whole different story. Because he gets those charges, and he, like, you know, prolongs the fight a bit, and Werewolf by Night just can't really handle that. So yeah um this just comes down to roster as well like you know my roster isn't as good as his like it is good when it comes to like you know number of champions ranked but it's just like the champions that i rank are more for fun than anything and it kind of like it kind of makes you wonder what if my roster was like actually good i wonder how like good i'd be in like battlegrounds you know uh you know apparently like my roster right now is fine enough because i'm in the grand finals of this thing but um like what if it was beyond what it is currently and i guess we'll find out soon because i might have to do some meta rank ups just to you know satisfy myself and like try to push for battlegrounds next season i don't know but um yeah the block damage is crazy and i just i just couldn't do anything here to be honest like world by night he's a great champion but when he's punching down like this it just doesn't work out for him so yeah it is what it is i could have done this a whole lot better and there we go like eh, it's okay i guess <laughs> like yeah he won that though so i was already just not feeling it and i was like okay man um i i, I kind of felt like weak at that point i was like okay 
any confidence that I like would have had at this point I just I just don't have you know I just I need something here so uh, he's gonna place crossbones I believe yeah he's gonna place crossbones here valid placement to be honest and I probably should have gone with Maestro to get rid of Sasquatch however I went with Onslaught to get rid of Hulkling who is going to be just as annoying and yeah I had to win this one obviously but you can probably guess what happens here <laughs> so yeah uh Mantis versus Crossbones I took a risk because like if even just one intimidate sticks i have my entire ramp essentially so that was a game plan just try to get lucky and uh you know i i thought i could do it because you know i kind of got lucky enough to get to this point so i'm like hey let's just try for let's just try to get lucky one more time and i kind of do but i also kind of don't because of the ai from this crossbones it was kind of bad to be honest and yeah i just i couldn't win this one like i it just everything went wrong didn't get as lucky as i could have uh just took too much block damage yeah things were just not looking good for me right here so i just go for the intimidate which he purifies which is amazing and i'm like okay man let's just let's just and he purifies it again which is i think i think crossbones at sig 20 or 40 has like a less than 50 percent chance to do it i don't know but yeah, there we go. Drop the relic, fight's done, and I lost. So I am down 0 2. This is new territory for me, and I don't like that because, you know, I like being comfortable, right? I need comfort to, like, get some confidence and, like, you know, perform well. And when I'm down 0 2, uh, I don't have that. So I'm like, okay, what's the game plan now? Uh, the game plan was to just play like everything like this was a final match, right? Because it is a final match if I lose it because if I'm down 0-3, what can I do? Nothing. I will tell you that much. I can't do a single thing if I'm down 0-3. But um, yeah, Serpent's gone. Fastest bans of my life, to be honest. I lock that in ASAP because yeah, Serpent, he's gone. He's, he's done, right? He's not going to stay any longer here. And yeah, he bans Mangog, Killmonger, and Atuma, that's fair enough. There's my Kushala, there's my Maestro. Uh, I should just lock that in ASAP, which I do. There is his Kushala, which is fair enough, but he also has Sasquatch as well, so... Oh man, I love Sasquatch. He is such a cool character. But uh, there is Hulkbuster, uh, there is Hulkling, and Cherry, so let's just pick that real quick. Uh, there is Bullseye, who is very scary to deal with, but... If I get Sunspot, then I am kind of chillin', uh, but he goes for Nick Fury, and I think he goes for Maestro as well, or does he go for Onslaught? Honestly, guys, I don't remember. <laughs> he goes for Maestro there, I believe. Um, what's he gonna do? Let's see. We'll, we'll find out together. He goes for Maestro, fair enough. Uh, there is my Sunspot, and there is Warwolf by Night for Maestro, maybe. There is Elsa Bloodstone, just to have her, I guess. There is Dust, who is pretty annoying to deal with. Uh, we go for dust here, so yeah, uh, not too shabby. And there is Photon, which I have zero counters for, which is amazing. Um, yeah, sometimes my luck on this draft just feels terrible, and other times it's honestly pretty good. That's just Battlegrounds for you, right? Like, you know, I think Battlegrounds is very skill-based, but then again, the wrong draft just kind of screws you as well, so it's like, eh, it's debatable, I guess. And there he goes for Photon. And there is Elsa Bloodstone, thankfully. Oh my gosh, what a saving grace. But yeah, um, one issue that I've noticed is that I don't have Photon counters. I just straight up don't. Uh, I have Mantis and Elsa Bloodstone. Two very good champions, but you know, besides those two, I just have nothing, right? And there he goes for Sassy, and yeah, this was, uh, I was kind of scared here because I don't have a good counter for Sasquatch besides Sunspot, which, you know, you know how that went last time, right? And here he's gonna go for Abs Man, so that's fair enough. And who do I even use for this Sasquatch? Do I remember? I don't know if I remember at all, but, uh, I use Sunspot again. I know how it went the last time and I was like, you know what, let's still do it. <laughs> um, that reminds me of uh, Battle Realm Brawl when I was like doing my first matchup with Legacy and my first fight was Sunspot versus Nick Fury and I failed it miserably. And then to win against Legacy, I had to do that fight one more time. And yeah, this kind of feels like that where I 
you know, fail it the first time, but it's really important to get it down this time around. Screen recording, save to photos, thanks for the notification. I have my do not disturb on, but it just doesn't care apparently. But uh, yeah, what am I gonna do differently here? Well, let's see what I do differently. I don't know, I don't remember to be honest, but um, yeah, so far so good, I guess. He hasn't dropped any SP1, so that's honestly a great start. And he's gonna drop the SP2 here. So looking pretty good so far. I have four flare states up. Let's see what I do with those flare states, right? Do I go for a fifth one? Maybe, maybe not. Looks like no so far. But then I go for the fifth one. He enters Wrath of... He enters Wrath. I'm not gonna even try. <laughs> and then he just starts melting my block because I forgot to parry there. So yeah, that's my fault. But then yeah, five flare states does more than enough. So good to know, right? Five flare states is the key and Dust did Dust things, so that is amazing. Uh, people say that Dust isn't a good defender, but then, you know, everyone just gets her eventually. No, she gets everyone eventually, my bad. <laughs> All right, so yeah, um, there we go. Dust saved me there big time. Uh, that could have been very clean for him, but thankfully Dust is still very new, still very complicated. So yeah, we're kind of just chilling. And so I play Shuri down and he places Photon down. So I have to also Bloodstone this and he's gonna go for Maestro here, I believe. Yeah, there we go. So um, Maestro is a beast on attack. People kind of don't realize that, but yeah very good on attack in my opinion uh versus tech characters that is so yeah uh i didn't think i was gonna win this one i know elsa bloodstone is crazy good for photon but i was like okay uh maybe this just goes south for me i don't know i just have to try my best here and i do for the most part i think anyway so uh yeah let's see what happens here footloose being annoying what's new I go in, I just get my combo going, and then she melts my block because I forgot to go for an intercept like a Muppet. Now I'm cornered, so that's already a fantastic start as well. And yeah, I just play this so poorly. Um, yeah, just didn't do anything right in this matchup, I guess. That's fine, that's expected from me, so uh, we're chilling, I guess. Go back in here and drop a relic into the SP1, I think, in a second. Do I do it? No, I don't. I hold my block. That's expected then i go for the sp2 and this ends the fight uh i i like nah that could have been so much better and yeah he crushed it with maestro maestro's a beast guys i'm telling you he's so good versus tech characters i was honestly proud that i lost to that because you know if i lose to maestro i don't really care because it's maestro like i'll lose i'll lose them any day right like gladly but now it's time for my maestro to do something, right? Because if my maestro doesn't do something here, it's essentially over for me, right? Uh, yeah, if if he doesn't, you know, do maestro things, I go down 0-3, and that's just like a point of no recovery. So I place down maestro, and we see what happens, right? Um, he's gonna Kushala it, fair enough, and I'm gonna go for Kushala myself. Now, I could have placed Kushala and see what happened there, but maybe not like the best idea. <laughs> I mean, like Kushala can Kushala herself, so uh, maybe like she would have done like a bit better than Maestro, maybe not, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, here we go for Nick Fury versus, or Kushala versus Nick Fury. I've done it before, done it plenty of times, and this one was kind of decent, I think. I think I played it pretty good. Uh, yeah, here he drops the SP2, no big deal. And here's why Kushala is so good for my not Maestro. Okay, well she's good for Maestro, but here's why she's so good for Nick Fury. Because if he goes unblockable, we have that uh, blue spell. And that blue spell lets us block any unblockable. So yeah, uh, that's why she is so good for this fight. But I don't play it the best, I believe. Because yeah, like right there, my spells aren't fully up and somehow uh, the evade still triggers, which is super annoying, and that makes me mess up, which is just so fun. And yeah, that's already like, it's a massive, massive loss right there. Uh, so we have to go for like a reparry. He does not drop the heavy attack, which is amazing. So I go for my SP1 and it gets like pretty much no nullifies, which is amazing. And uh, yeah, I'm just not feeling good about this fight. So I'm like, let's, let's just go in completely. If I mess up, I mess up. And if I lose, I lose. Cause yeah, like what do I have to lose at this point? 
and yeah, dropped the SP2, and what happens? Um, we hardly get the win. We won by like, what, 200 points? Less than 200 points? Uh, that's not good. I knew like at this point I was like, okay, I have to change something, right? I have to like, I have to, something has to like happen, right? I have to do better here because I am hardly, I'm hardly in this. I won because he messed up. I don't know like what happened over there, but I know that like, hey, I gotta, I gotta get good, right? <laughs> that's a tough ask from me, but maybe I can do it. I don't know. So I ban Tiger, CGR, Serpent as per usual. Those guys are not ever getting the light of day in this matchup for the entire series. So yeah, um, it is what it is, right? So he's going to go for, I believe, a dust ban now. And that's valid because after what happened with like dust the last time, um, yeah, it kind of makes sense. Or does he, does he go for dust ban? I think he does. Yeah, instead of a Tuma, he bans dust. So that makes sense. Uh, you know, I think Dust has like good counters in the tech class and like kind of in general, but even that, e like even with that, she can still mess you up big time. So yeah, here I go for Shuri and Longshot, just two really strong characters. And there is Maestro, there is also Hulkling, there is Nick Fury, you know, just like a godly draft right there. And he goes for Hulkling and Nick Fury, which is fair enough. Uh, I have Photon right there, thankfully. And now I have like, you know, man thing maybe, maybe Sasquatch. Uh, he has Sasquatch now too though, which is, uh, that's a grand time. And uh, yeah, just had to have to watch out for that guy for sure. And you know, there is Red Skull, there is a Tuma right there, which is good. And I re-roll, maybe I shouldn't have done that when like a Tuma was right there, but it is what it is. There's a Gladiator, which I don't think I need right now. So I go for Dragon Man and Red Skull. Which is like fair enough. Uh, Red Skull is a good defender still, even in this meta, and Dragon Man is kind of just like mole support, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, it is what it is. And there he has like Kindred, he has Bullseye, maybe even. He has so many good options there, man. But he goes for Kindred, which is fair enough because in this meta, Kindred is one of the most annoying defenders to like fight. But um, yeah, it's time to just it's time to get good, right? So. We're gonna place down, I believe, Red Skull first. Yeah, there we go. And he's gonna place down Kindred ASAP, which is fair enough because, hey, if he gets this round win, then it's looking really good for him. So may as well just go in with your best because Red Skull, he might not do Red Skull things because Kushala is very good for him. So yeah, go for Shuri right there. And here he goes for Kushala as per usual. So this is gonna be a close one for sure, right? Because Kushala is pretty fast, but she might take some damage, while Shuri isn't as fast, but is a lot safer. I mean, Kushala is super safe as well, it's just Red Skull is Red Skull, so that might cause some issues. And like, Kindred is Kindred though, to be fair, so yeah, I have to be careful, because if I play this poorly and he gets into that like, uh, that outbreak, what's it called? It, it's called like, yeah, I think it's just called Outbreak, right? Where he like does degen damage to you, then I'm done for, right? Because that does so much damage to me, especially since Kindred is rank five and not rank four. But yeah, here I go for the SP1. And yeah, so far so good here. Just as long as he doesn't drop the SP1 or chilling, right? Because yeah, the SP2 when he drops it is just a whole lot better because you can actually punish it while Footloose is a thing. So that's great. And yeah, he drops it right here, and I go for the punish, and it works, so that's, on <laughs> that's honestly pretty awesome. And yeah, we're kind of chilling now because the pause is up, so we can't gain any more of those charges. And this is going to be a wrap already. Really clean fight, to be honest. Like, I'll be, I'll, be, I'll be straightforward. I think it is a really nice fight that I did. And yeah, drop the SP1, and that just does it. So not too shabby at all. And what I say, it was going to be close, but Sherry got the W right there. That's great. That That's huge, right? So, yeah, we have a few options now for my defense and my attack because, like, having the first round win is really important because it, like, when you're playing at a deficit, even in, like, the single, like, the single matchup, it really does make a whole world of difference. So, yeah, he's going to play Nick Fury. Fair enough. I have pretty much no one for him and I'm gonna throw this round because you know I think Nick Fury was his strongest defender because 
I don't think he's going to use Sasquatch on defense, given that I have Photon right there and Kushala as well. So I'm like, okay, we got this, right? <laughs> right, we got this. He's going to use Mantis, fair enough. And I'm not going to place Mantis, or not, I'm not going to place Photon next round because I can't, because of Sasquatch being in play. So yeah, I'm going to use Kushala here. And this one's a throw around, right? Because, you know, Mantis is Mantis. He's going to take like, what, 40 seconds and like foil a bar it. While Nick Fury is not a 40 second fight for pretty much anyone. So yeah, got to be careful here. But then again, if I mess up, I don't really care because it's a throw around. So yeah, you know, throw arounds, they're kind of strategic. They're kind of like, they're kind of good for you if you like play it properly. But honestly, I was taking a risk with this throw around because... Let's say like I throw it, right? And you know, it works out well, then hey, I am tied 2-2 with him now. That is a massive comeback. If I throw it, but then I mess up in the, in the third fight, then I'm down 1-3 and it's like, okay, that's that's over, right? It just feels over for me personally. So uh, yeah, we're doing pretty good so far, but then everything just kind of like doesn't go good after this for some reason so yeah uh nullify doesn't apply to the fury which is great and then yeah he drops the sp2 which is fine then i go back in here and i don't get the intercept which is amazing and yeah just not going too good the spells i'm just not managing great at all so that's another thing that is you know hurting this fight and yeah i have zero spells up now just straight up zero so i'm like okay what do i even do at this point i'm just playing this so poorly he drops the sb2 so it's like okay he dropped the sp2 now he's unstoppable and he has evade so i just can't hit him at all so it's like okay man let's just get this over with i got hit as well just so bad and it didn't matter anyway so i don't necessarily care but hey i gotta start playing a bit better right because this is the grand finals i might have done good versus liam but this is like where it really matters now so yeah down one two this is for pretty much all the marbles in my mind because if i go down one three i can't come back from that let's be honest so um yeah he places onslaught fair enough i use photon for that and I placed Sassy, and he uses Sasquatch for that. In, it's an interesting, you know, matchup, right? You know, like uh, doing Photon versus Onslaught. But I've done it before, and the last time I did it, it went pretty poorly. So I was kind of nervous for this one. But uh, yeah, I kind of do really good here, thankfully. And Photon's good for Onslaught because Photon can parry his non-contact hits. But not only that... Uh, she has energy res at base so that energy res is pretty massive for this for this onslaught fight right so we're gonna utilize that we're gonna get our charges built up and he's gonna drop the sp1 here in a second does he i think he does yeah he does here that was honestly perfect by him so yeah really happy about that and there i blocked that kind of messed up but that gives me some willpower healing actually so maybe it was strategic i don't know it wasn't <laughs> it definitely wasn't but uh, we're still fine uh there he is just playing a bit passive which is whatever uh but yeah we go back in drop a combo into the relic and i just go for all the marbles here uh and actually no i don't i i play it cautious i was trying to go for an intercept which didn't happen but there i get the intercept and that was honestly really nice um yeah so Gonna be hard to beat that, to be honest, with uh, Sasquatch versus Sasquatch. I know Sasquatch is good, but that was like really clean by Photon. So there we go. Um, taking him a bit of time for sure. And hey, it's now 2-2, which, um, which is a lot better than like what I was expecting, right? I'll be honest, I kind of had like a feeling that I'd get 0-4'd, but um, yeah, 2-2, two, two. here we go. Now I feel back into it. Now I feel like more confident because I went from 0-2 to being tied now. So here we go, man. I feel a lot better about like the rest of these matchups. I have my same bands planned because, hey, it's working so far, right? When I didn't ban Serpent, I went down 0-2. When I started banning Serpent, I was up 2-2. So yeah he gets sunspot asap which is amazing <laughs> that's already a great start for him but hey i get sunspot too so we're chilling um and i get long shot so that's also pretty massive there he gets photon fair enough he gets hulkling as well also fair enough and yeah 
pretty good picks by him. There is Mantis, which is massive, thankfully. There is uh, Sasquatch for me again, which is also pretty massive. Uh, there he gets Archangel and Nick Fury. And, you know, Archangel is pretty scary, right? Because if I don't have the right draft, he can just melt anything is what I thought, but then I realized, wait, Archangel kind of sucks. So I wasn't really scared about this Archangel pick. Honestly, Mantis is way more frightening than Archangel, and you're gonna see why in a second here. So here I go for Photon, of course, and also Onslaught, so that is a massive, massive pick. And you know, last time Hulkling crushed my Onslaught, but that match is also pretty inconsistent, right? Because it depends on the Nero Shocks that Onslaught inflicts, it depends on Hulklings, like, you know, crits and all that. So I knew that maybe, maybe you can get me a win, but also to, like, be cautious about it because if it goes really good, it can be sub 40 seconds and, like, a full yellow bar. So, yeah, just had to be cautious, right? And I pick Kindred, which is massive because I don't see a Kindred counter there. And here we go. Match number five. We're at a stalemate right now, so this determines a lot of things, right? If I win this, I'm up 3-2, I feel the best that I could possibly feel, right? I lose this, I'm down 2-3, and I get very, very nervous because I have to win two more. I have to win two in a row again. So, yeah, here I use uh, Sunspot. I'm challenging Archangel to try to beat Sunspot because I don't think he can do it. So, yeah, I'm like, you know what? I have faith in Archangel sucking, right? I have faith that Archangel is not as good as people say because he's so unreliable and he's too RNG reliant while Sunspot's the complete opposite and he's a perfectly reliable character. So I was challenging Archangel because I don't care. I don't care, right? Because I think he's not good. I think that he, um, you know, of course he is good sometimes, but like versus Sasquatch, for example, I think it can go very south very fast. And, um, We'll see what happens, right? Maybe I eat my words and maybe Archangel is just the greatest of all time and I need to rank him up for Battlegrounds. Maybe, right? And to be fair, that is the case sometimes. But at least I know that Sunspot, he'll get the job done guaranteed if I play good, right? Because there is no RNG with this character. It's just go in, do your damage, and you're chilling. And what does Sunspot do? He does his damage and he's chilling. So. Yeah, there we go, and I challenged Archangel, and what happened? He didn't live up to it, so yeah, there we go. <laughs> um, exactly what I expected, to be fair. Uh, that's not Andrew playing it poorly, that's just Archangel being unreliable, right? And, like, I think Archangel's a great champion when he wants to be a great champion, but that's not all the time. And in a big situation like this, I knew that my best bet was to challenge the RNG of Archangel. So yeah, uh, that's just a massive, massive win for me because I'm now up in the first round, and that means that the like the ball is the ball is in my court pretty much, right? So yeah, it's pretty much like however I want to play this, I can play it. So I can either go for like a Kindred placement right now to just get the win already, but then I realize that hey, he does have like that Photon still, and he still has that Hulkling, so. Let me just get rid of Hulkling for now. I'll let him get rid of his Photon right here because he has to place it essentially because it is his last defender. So yeah, um, we're kind of chilling at this point. He plays his Photon, I use Mantis, and I could have done this a lot better by the way. I think my best Mantis fight is, my best Photon fight with Mantis is about 27 seconds. So yeah, I was trying to get that to just secure this and make it like, you know, no stress at all for me but I don't do it, so <laughs> you'll see what happens here. Uh, it has, like, it's a pretty decent start, like the usual start for Mantis with, or for Photon with Mantis, but, um, yeah, I also just kind of mess up here in a second because I just, I don't, I don't go for the Intimidate, right, which is already a bad start, and, yeah, here she just doesn't play ball. Here I should have gone for the Intimidate, which I don't, and, yeah, just not smart by me at all. Poor play. Waste a whole lot of time and now I'm cornered as well. So yeah, this could have been so much faster, like so, so much faster. And yeah, drop the SP2 and Hulkling could have won here easily, right? He easily could have won. Does he win? Um, no, so we're good. Okay, I'm up 3-2 now. The ball's in my court completely. I went from 0-2 to up 3-2 and I'm feeling the best I can possibly feel right now. I feel so good about this. I'm like, okay, even if he wins this next one, 
we're back to the stalemate. And like with how I just came back from being down 0-2, I think in the stalemate where like it's tied 3-3, I feel like I can do my best there. And yeah, so I go for these three bands again. It's proving successful right now. So yeah, we just have to stick with it. There's my onslaught. There's his maestro, which is pretty scary. Um, yeah, it is what it is, right? There's his America Chavez, no big deal. I have Kindred right there. I have Sasquatch as well. It's not looking too bad so far, right? It's not looking too bad at all. So yeah, we go for those two. There's his Sunspot, his Nick Fury, all of his good counters, right? All of his good champions. And okay, I'll be honest, my draft right now isn't looking too great. Um, I need a Maestro counter for one, and I need a Nick Fury counter after that. Um, so yeah, there we go. He uses, he picks Onslaught and he picks Nick Fury, fair enough. And I go for Atuma and Kushala, which I think is a smart pick right now, at least. There's his Sasquatch. That's, that's great. <laughs> that's totally great. And, um, yeah, there is my Maestro at least. I go for the reroll because I need something there and I just don't get what I needed. So I go for Masakre and this is where things turn around for me. For, okay, this is where things turn around for me when it comes to my opinion on Masakre because I used to not like this champion at all. But then he kind of did something that, you know, I think is pretty dang cool. And while it might have been a losing effort, it was still pretty dang cool what Masakure did. So we're gonna play Sasquatch for now. Maybe should have placed a Tuma to just get it over with, right? But yeah, I play Sasquatch and um, here he's gonna use, he's gonna play Sasquatch as well, right? Yeah, he doesn't play Snake Fury yet, he does Sasquatch. So I'm like, okay, um, that's fine, right? Let me just use Masakure real quick. I was gonna use Kushala, but then I'm like, wait, no Maestro counter. So I go for Masakre, and he uses Kushala here. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna lose this one, right? But let's just see what Masakre does. Cause I used to not like this champion at all. Cause I was like, okay, he just, he just doesn't work for me personally, right? But maybe he does decent here, I don't know. And I'll be honest, it was a rough start. I didn't play it that good to like begin, but um, yeah, just trying to like play it casually not gonna go for the ignition the ignition just yet because like it's a waste of time right now like yeah it's just like a waste right now so yeah just gonna play it a bit cautiously he drops the sp2 and yeah so far whatever right like it's it's a fine start i guess but uh yeah we gotta get him into wrath asap because i have my sp2 ready so once wrath and like once wrath happens i'm gonna drop my sp2 and it'll do some pretty nice damage output right He's at six stacks right now, up to seven, so we are looking pretty good here. And he's gonna enter Wrath right now, so I go for like a a quick hit into the SP2, and yeah, massive damage right there. We continue our onslaught, and then yeah, he goes for that, which hurts big time, but it's okay. We go for a combo again, into the Relic, into another SP2, and there we go. That was so nice. I was so taken aback by that. Did we lose? Maybe. I don't care. Cause that was nice. That was I I was like, okay, maybe I maybe I doubted Masakure a bit too much, right? Because that was actually really dang clean. But um yeah, uh that was like that was a pretty fun matchup. I would gladly do that again. And it's good to know that like for the final match, like if I lose this one, that hey, I have a new Sasquatch counter. And there's his maestro, and I just yeah, I don't even know what I did here, man. I just I placed Kindred, which is fair enough. And, you know, after this, I'm kind of just done for because I don't have, like, a good defender and I don't have, like, a good option for Onslaught. So I wasn't feeling good about this. He's going to use, uh, I think, Ebony Maw. Yeah, he uses Maw here. And I just play this one terribly. So last time I did this, like, with this strategy, it was, like, a 55-second takedown. It was very clean. Um, but... I guess I did something wrong this time. So with the Footloose meta, what I do first is I use the SP1 to get rid of like the buffs, right? It doesn't give him incinerate, but it also like gives him five neutralizes. So that prevents Footloose, which is honestly pretty annoying for Kushala to deal with, right? So yeah, I do that first and you know, usually it, it works pretty well. And so I was like, okay, this is where I wanna be right now. So yeah, uh, I feel pretty good about this so far, but then just 
everything goes wrong for some reason. I don't know what happens, but like, yeah, I just mess it up. Like usually it, it goes really well. And there's where I mess up. I just don't get that parry. And I get kind of confused because I swear that Kushal is like built off of being able to parry all the time. So it's like, uh, okay, that's not a good start. So it's like, okay, um, we got to we got to regroup real quick because yeah this is not going good for us in the slightest um yeah just not ideal at all so i dropped the sp2 and yeah we're back in it kind of not really though because he gets his passives which is annoying for kushala so i'm like okay this is just not going well at all and so i drop another sp2 it does good damage of course but like yeah, I could have done so much better here. I just failed that miserably. And like Kushala, I just have not been playing good. Like I've not been playing good with her at all. So yeah, and plus I was kind of just like done for in that final round. So I just didn't really care. Um, Actually, nah, nah, no, I just couldn't. <laughs> I was gonna say I could have used Warwolf by night, but like he hasn't done much for me either. So yeah, just, it is what it is. Um, It's down to, it's down to 3-3. Three, three. Um, whatever happens happens this is for all the marbles and i mean that this time because it's the final match in like the final it, this is it the last match of the entire tournament it comes down to this right here right literally all the marbles right here it it's like it's the finals it's the final match of the final round of the whole entire tournament it's all leading up to this so let's just see what happens right here man uh he has sherry he has ma he has archangel already like a really good start for him so he's gonna go for i think sherry in the end which is fair enough and uh yeah there's my photon there's my sasquatch massive already right but there's also mephisto there's also sherry so i could have picked them but i just opt for that um not too bad so far and yeah, I'm just I'm just a bit nervous, man, because I was like, okay, if I, you know, I've, I've come this far, I didn't get 04, so I want to just try to win this, right? So let's see what happens here. Uh, yeah, there's my Kushala, which is massive. Uh, there's my Hulkling as well, which is also pretty massive. So I go for those two characters. And there is Photon, which is bad really bad like really 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 bad because i don't have a photon counter just yet uh there's also chavez nick fury uh he goes for nick fury i believe which is fair enough um yeah so that's already great for him too and i'm like okay if i don't get sunspot it's over right if i don't get sunspot i'm just done for their sunspot we're good okay nice yeah, that was, that was kind of scary for a second because I didn't have a Photon counter, I didn't have a Nick Fury counter, but there is my saving grace, there is Sunspot, and I'll be honest, Sunspot kind of just carried this entire series for me. Um, yeah, he is, he is a, he is a rank 3 candidate now, I'll say that much, he's just so, so good. I think he's the best Mutant 7 star in the game, to be honest, uh, besides Onslaught, actually, eh. I think he's better than Onslaught when it comes to attack. But uh, anyways, yeah, there is Domino, fair enough. Um, there's Archangel, there's Kushala, which makes sense. And there is my Onslaught. So clutch right there, to be honest, man. Because, yeah, he doesn't have an Onslaught counter besides Photon. And if he places Photon, which I don't have a counter for, he'll get that round win, right? But then if he loses the second round, I save my Onslaught. And I win because Photon is his only onslaught counter. And what does he do? He places Photon. So I'm like, okay, I might not have to win this, but if I win the second round after losing this one, if I do lose this one, then I am in a really good spot. So let's just try to win this one, right? So I'm gonna place um I'm gonna place Hulkbuster because <laughs> I was just gonna throw this one. He uses Shuri for it, and I'll be honest, I could have won this one easily because what Hulkbuster does is honestly super surprising. But um, yeah, so here we go, Hulkling versus Photon. This is why you ascend your Hulkling, by the way. Um, yeah, he wants to be ascended for this matchup because without the ascension, he's just not really that good for it. Um. But yeah, I kind of hate this matchup anyway, so like I wasn't fussed. I didn't plan on doing like super good like in it. So yeah, let's see what happens here though. Um, it's a okay start. Like I don't know how to do <laughs> Here's the thing. I don't know how this matchup works. So I don't know what I'm doing necessarily. 
And I think that like for my first time doing it or like my first time like really trying it, I don't think I do that badly to be fair, but yeah, I could have done better anyway. Like I can always do better. So yeah, uh, there I get my unblockable. I drop my SP2 and we're kind of just in a okay spot right now. And yeah, I drop the relic and she just stands there. So that's a, that's very convenient. But then look at this. Um, I lose like a third of my health because of that. Whatever the heck that was, uh, that cost me the whole entire, that, that cost me the round. So uh, yeah, not, not the best look so far. If I were to lose like the entire series because of that, like because of those two blocked hits, I would have been so mad and i guess that's like a spoiler of what happens but you know i might put it in the title anyway but yeah um if i were to like lose this because of that i would have been so upset uh but yeah um i lost a lot of health due to that and you know hulkbuster was standing ground if i didn't take those two blocked hits i would have won this and that would have made my life a whole lot easier because i just place onslaught immediately and i just win so now I have to like actually like focus up because this is down to the wire, like literally. This second matchup is pretty much for everything, right? So I'm nervous, <laughs> I'm real nervous. And uh, he goes for a gamble and honestly so do I because he's gonna place, uh, he's gonna place, who does he place here? Actually, hold on, I place first, right? So. What do I do? I don't place Onslaught. I go for Sasquatch. And I'm like, okay. That was the one defender that I wanted him to place. Because I think if he were to place Nick Fury, I would have been... No, if he were to place uh, Bullseye, I would have been in a pretty big pickle. Because I would have had to like either use Sunspot for that, then I lose my Nick Fury counter, and then if I use like Kushala for it, I lose my Domino counter. So yeah, this was just very ideal. And um, this matchup, I had to like focus up. No mistakes at all. I had to just do this essentially perfectly because the last time he did uh, Kushala versus Sasquatch, he did it perfectly. So yeah, I could not mess this up, right? And he could do like that Sasquatch fight even faster the next time around. I don't know. But uh, yeah, there, I just go back in. I don't even try the intercept there. I'm like, no, sir, we're not doing that. <laughs> so yeah, I go back in again, though. Drop my SP1, and we're looking pretty good right here. Um, yeah, so far, so good. She is not getting lucky at all, which is honestly helpful for me, right? But um, yeah, he's gonna, or she's going to drop it again, I think. No, I just go all in. I'm like, yeah, whatever. If I if I lose, I lose. And yeah, I just, I full sense it. I, I went fully in there. Should I have done that? Maybe not. But um you know, hey, uh, he's, he's still in the fight, and we got the W there. Okay, so here's what happens now. He has three skill champions. I have one onslaught. <laughs> I'm gonna place that onslaught ASAP, and whatever happens, happens, right? He could crossbones it. Maybe crossbones does work. I don't know. I don't really play crossbones, so I was like, maybe that's like his trap card, right? Maybe the onslaught placement is his trap card, but I was like, but I think I got this in the bag because what, like, whatever he places down, I have Sunspot, right? And, you know, I've been playing Sunspot pretty good in these last few matchups. So I'm like, okay, um, I think I can do this, right? No matter what he places down, uh, Bullseye's a 25 second fight or like a 30 second fight. Uh, Nick Fury's a safer fight for sure. So it's like, let's just get it done, right? Let's just secure this. No mistake, I have to play this one perfectly, right? Because the thing with Nick Fury is if I mess up once and he does a light ending combo, I don't survive and I lose. So yeah, I cannot I cannot mess this one up. So yeah, we try to go for the simple rotation, just playing it as safe as possible, making sure that we get every parry no matter what. And yeah, drop another SP1 and uh, so far so good, right? There I miss a parry, it's fine because I just keep on blocking. And uh, yeah, I am just, I'm nervous here, right? Because he's about to be in second life and if I mess up, then I just will get obliterated. So just try to play it cool here. And yeah, I go for another heavy attack, no big deal. And we are close to the promised land. We're not there yet, but here I dropped the SP2. He's in second life, it fails. So there we go, drop the relic. And yeah, that was honestly pretty dang good. So um, yeah, 
we won that's it it's he can't beat it because i ended full health so yeah uh that was insane this whole tournament was just like a fever dream because how did i make it past the first round i don't know how did i win this thing i really don't know um yeah cool um i i seriously like don't know what to say because like i didn't expect to make it this far right i had to face barrel man which was already like you know felt like a guaranteed loss uh facing andrew felt like a guaranteed loss all these matchups felt like losses right and uh i somehow beat them i somehow like overcame the odds and there we go man um that that's just that's a w and that's the tournament concluded who is the grand champion somehow it's me uh yeah i'll take it and we'll see what happens in like the future like tournaments are pretty stressful they're like kind of i mean they're kind of fun because it's like just like it's just for fun right but um yeah i'll see what happens um yeah tournament winner me somehow <laughs> me somehow i guess but um yeah let me know your thoughts on this uh whole tournament if you like these type of like videos let me know and i'll like, keep on making more of them i guess and yes yeah, about it for me